Sibonasing And I see that we're not complete yet. So the preachers know that we can come at any time, they'll still be singing. We ask our father from Tunzini, Mr. Stegen, if he could please open the service for us in prayer. Masi to Baba Sem Tunzin in the Bushalang and Sem Tunzin, um, four Abogam Fundi Silo, Succelling Nan is a Sang and is a cool. Now, we say it's our father from Tunzini. Because that's where he lives. It's Reverend Stegan's brother, and he's close to getting to 100 years old. Astandasa. Shall we pray? We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you want to Utala um seven was a Zuluini and she's when Zet. Caesar would link on so he base pussies on a Gulona law. Must pin the lekaya footy. Sibeno nom gulu and she's when goody. When Angosi Wangi fella of Funa gooding seen. King of Poop is Hockwin. Season goes, you boos, a manje, and conswin, busisa, a mas, we are so a tall and am manje, upeganya nati, gosi, si haugele, skelang ekamala concos, wena. Officer good it song Sipila Pagata na Pagata Zulwin Season go si good it sing a lot again. Cotwa Kufezek a good it in a song so Mugelega Zulwin. Siatre lang e kamana konkurs. Usi salengo onso. Amen. Amen. Aisha bonga kulu. Baba sem tuzini. Imazi ngapu e ngapu mizimvekan. Thank you very much. I have the privilege of calling him my grandfather. Baba Dube has known him even before his hair was grey. No I one is interpreting as a grandchild, grandson. I thought that I could come close to him and maybe one of the grey hairs would land on me and I would also go grey, but it didn't happen. We have been proclaiming and bringing the gospel for many years together. That's why I say I knew him before he started turning grey. The storms would come, the winds would come from either side, but 
he would stand together with his family supporting God's work. Yeah, we can see that Baba is also <laughs> already also over 70 years old. Now I've passed by the grace of God. And then uh, that's why I said if I would be close by, maybe one of the gray hairs would fall on me. But even my mother, she got, uh, it was over 80 years old, but she, her hair did not turn gray yet. Ministers and servants of the Lord, those who have been here, we have truly been blessed, we who have been here at Kwasizabantu. Our hearts are full with that with which you shared with us. And we thank Reverend Stegen who said, there are many um, de denominations, but there is only one heaven and one hell. And we saw that many preachers from different churches, different denominations, but we as Wasizabantu together with the leadership and the co-workers of the mission, we say thank you and we have really been blessed. You have come and you were there just to sharpen us. And because of your sermons and the messages that you have brought, we realize that even now we will be sharper than before. And our backpacks and in our hearts, we have taken it and we have kept it safe. And may I say this, preachers, ministers, when you are traveling with a car, you look at the road signs and they point to you in this direction and that direction. But that signpost, that road sign does not reach that destination. It does its work and stands on one place and says, this way to Johannesburg, that way to, to Durban. And may we ministers not be like that signpost, that road sign, that says, heaven is that way, hell is that way, and then we find that we do not get there. Preaching to them about the, about the cross, teaching them about the Lord Jesus, telling them, if you do like this, you will go into heaven. If you do like this, you will go to hell. And we find ourselves not getting to heaven. And each and every one, may we go, may we go with our lanterns full of oil. 
eswa toli lengalezi inkonzo uksale njalo mas uksale svota simvote lungulungu. And this oil that we have received during this conference, may we be on fire always for the Lord. Kunga bin jenga lo munto otiena jenga lezontombe owati masafirumi ni watolaga lucha mafuta abana. And may we not be like those virgins that when the bridegroom came, that they said, well, saw they did not have any more oil. We can hear with our ears, it goes in, but in our hearts, the lamps are not burning. There is no oil inside. What am I calling a lama foot and a paratent is in Zetu? Little humble vangit. But if that oil is in our hearts, the gospel will go forth. Uma abeles will ban, you see, to Lily, so humble as canyes as canyes, so by Chelaban to watch it. And if we have received those lamps, we will shine and we will tell people about the Lord Jesus. What among a call, my footer, Ungako Vutanga Parati, was of fun and then a Lord shedding. If there's no oil and there's no burning within the heart, it will be exactly the same as load shedding. You are burning and then it is off. And Today you are on fire, and then you carry on, and that fire goes away. That which you have received, you don't have, and the devil has taken away the light. May we not live a life like that, that we are burning in our light, and the next time we are, we are just dark. And there is no connection between you and God. Network is, is gone. Network You cannot talk to God. There is no contact. Between you and God, there is no network, it is gone. And I've got an announcement to make before I forget, but Reverend Stegen taught us that announcements do not get made after the service. Because you will then um, dampen and close that which has been brought, which, which has come to light. And I'm just asking if there's anyone going in the Matuba um, direction. Tomorrow, if you could please get a lift. And when the services come to an end, we can still have refreshments there before we go and sleep. Ah, uh, we will long after you, preachers, because when you are not there anymore, we won't, we will, we will be bored. We felt warm being with you. You know, if you take Logs, and you put them together, make a big pile, and they burn together, there's a big fire. And 
These days we have felt the fire of the Lord among us, and we have seen how the Lord has been among us. And may that fire that you have received, that heart that is now burning, may it not And now we understand what Peter and them, the disciples, Peter and them said when they said, can we just build a tent here? And what won't be a problem when we get to heaven and you are from this church or this denomination because we already started it here on earth. And because we need to take away that furniture that the devil thinks he has. Now just think of those that are going hunting. They are hunting for, for buck, and yet suddenly they start fighting among each other. That wild animal will run away. Someone who preaches the gospel, you should not make an MC. I'm going to hold it there. It is burning in my heart. And you see the fathers are, and it's as if they're the same as my father. And my father has already passed on, has gone to the Lord. And it's also difficult. There was a pre minister that was going to be with us, but the Lord has also taken him. And this is the last meeting that we have together, last service. It's a long program. May the Lord help us that we will not fall asleep. There are also a brother in Tlabati to come and to share that which he is going to say. I would like to greet all the ministers present. And the bishops that are with us. I get up as the smallest among all who are here. But after the services that we have had, we as young people, we could not remain quiet. And we've asked just to squeeze in and be there together with our fathers and mothers. This matter is what troubles us. Yes, Linda. Troubles us. As Baba Dube has said, this is the last service, soon we will part. As it could be that we, some of us, we will be parting and we will meet in, 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 at home one day. There's no problem that we part and meet at home. But if we part and we are still alive and we are still on earth, this problem we need sorted out. Malume, explained it to us very well this morning 
But I would still like to add something more. Inkinga ye tu tina bato chwa tina bato nywa kuye gumi politiki nje ime unkulunku la funuk sebenza afunuk sebenzi sa ebesa svinjwa i politiki gizo ikazi politiki. We as the anointed, we as the ones who are sent, we do our work, and then politics come and it stops our work, and I'll explain why. Who are you? That's the question. Now, the politics we have amongst the ministers is as the one is bringing the gospel, we say, well, who are you? What makes you better? It, we are held up by our name tags. Ngiyaxolisa abazala nothi ngikusho lo ngijoba ngishiyi. Ngingomncane phakathi kwethu. Kodwa inhliziyo yami yaqhuma lapho ngibuka ngathi how. Kungenzeka kanjani ukuthi sitholi ithuba lokuthi sizonge ne garage. Regardless ukuthi si 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 silimele ngalihlobo luni mangabe silimele noma ushayiseke kancane noma ushawe isaxhotho workshop and as i said that i am the smallest among you but we have had an opportunity to come to the workshop come to the panel beating shop where we can see whether it be damaged to our vehicle from hail or whether it is a slight dent at the back. But we have all had this opportunity to come to the workshop. This is what troubles me, brethren. God's servants have put their all into it to bring us the message, to help us and to give us direction. And what are we busy with? We busy on these cell phones, whether we are chatting and doing what we want, I'm not even mentioning recording and taking pictures. And the Lord is busy molding those whom he wants to send out. And yet you are busy with your own thing. Now, excuse me if I say it as it is, but we have had an opportunity to come together. Even though you might be the leader or the president, and you are limping, and you have a limp, and you have an opportunity to fix that limp so that when you leave here, that you can walk without anything hindering you. <laughs> Uchesu <laughs> We have had an opportunity to be before the Lord, 
When the Lord came to where Lazarus was, he asked, where is he? The others were concerned and saying, but Lord, if you had been here earlier, he would have not, not have died. But in the end, when they realized what the Lord had asked, the Lord then said, they took him to the Lord and said, that is where he is. Let us take our opportunity. Let's not go to bed tonight without having made our lives right before God. May the Lord, in His grace and mercy, kill the self within me. If I want to go and I want to lead the flock and I want to teach them and show them the way and tell them and show them how they must make their life right before God, how can I as a minister not sit down and confess my sin? How can I not bring my sins to God, God who knows them all, but he wants me to bring it out? And how can I teach the youngsters, the youth, those that need help in my church, how can I show them and tell them about it if I don't even know what it is? God servants have been trying to show us, draw us a picture. But if my relationship between me and my wife is not even there, what is it like? What is my relationship like, my life like with my wife? Do the people just say, Amen, and then you say, Oh, but only if you knew what he was really like. What is my relationship if all of us had come into this panel beating shop and had been worked, we would have left here knowing and understanding where we are going. Allow me to mention this. Sometimes when you speak about this, people's minds just go all over the place. There are just spirits all over that cause uneasiness. But let me explain. Reverend Stegen, the founder of this mission, is not God. Is that clear? He is our Moses. If we hear from God how we should do things, He is the one whose example we can follow. We can see his life before us. We don't praise him. We praise what God has done and follow the fruit of his example. Then but if we allow the Lord to do the work in us, when he puts us into that washing machine and he wants to mold us in the way that we are, need to be, then we can have the fruit 
And then you, don't, you can't just say, let us have what's about to where we are. But you need to be ready. You need to be right. And if the Lord has done the work, then Kwasi Zabantu can be started in your area. Umlandu ya zishu guti. Aga vumanga uguti atrineke. Eile lila selkulu. Elinga wazu tatu mlilo kwelngani. Zelele lkulu leo kelege livuti. And from the history, we understand that he was never there where he said, I cannot be this small coal that will take the fire from the big coal. And pin the foot. Agum jabuli sanga. Agumen zanga. Waba uto. Goguta trinegem kulu. Haimina gumfundis mini minum kambuenze. Enga tati. Ila selnane li sondele gul kulu. Li tate nembono yabangane li lete gum kulu. Besek puma ito etu segayo. Let me say it like this. He did not say that I am this big hole. I am the leader. I am the one who says what needs to be done, but isn't able to take a fire from that small coal, an idea, uh, uh, and a way to, that the small coal is bringing to him, that he accepted it. Umshaba wagiti, uya uya ukubuzelwa ubumyama, senzani, bakochwa, babizwa, bakankulunku. Our land is just being swept over by darkness. What are we doing as the anointed of the Lord? Umshaba umubuga banta batiba nukanya, nabobea beba tim, bupe lukanya bufipan, senzani envagwa loguba sikanga chuegle workshop na. And those who think that they are the light, yet they are in darkness, what do we do who have now been in this workshop so that we can proclaim and bring that light? Sinabantu enda onesuga guzo, ne ingane zeche si zele, ne singa izalanga mtlambe ngogu inyama gotu ingane zetu. Sesa ze savu masiti zinga ma street kit, angaze ngubo numku wako zalingane, gotu ingane zetu ilele mkakweni, kineche zegile minang trafi moto ya meza mingane zilaikai, ngenzani minangazo. And I, I say, I know that I have children. It might not be my physical, fleshly children, but it is those children that have been born to me. And then I even say, but I have street kids that I look after, but I've never seen a street bring birth to a child, and my children are sitting at home. Maskuluma sita unkulunkulu ngachangai siza, zizi nyawupe. Nisho njalu, zizi nyawupe, abanyabati nyawupe, china siti uunga. Yabon says as a country maka mari manja se on a mustard key, says I'm a para. Eako Msambe foot in now la ungobizi way. Impi lo yenga niaki akunda. A man the awes would tie up hell and go bukonjang yenga neak. Wenzan is senzan, Bazalwan, Caesar, Isre, Ing and is it is pupa a pant. And you see those children, and you say all they need to do is continue smoking. That nyaupe or that hunger, um, and oh, you are not even concerned about them. You say you are called. What are you doing about those who need help from you? Like I have babum fundisi, sight ail and jenga bash as a tea. See a call at you, Sindisi, as poos as pay, must joil as jolies. Got a buyer poos, a buyer pay, my buyer joil, sends an ingab. We as the youth came to Reverend Stegen and said, we have been saved. We do not drink. We do not flirt and, and play around. What are we doing about those in the world that, are, that need help, that need guidance? And then we went out. We went out to those kids that are called street kids. But as I said, there's no street that's given birth to a kid. So I could come as soon to Emma Sontuin Guami Politi Utau, Oba and Gonalab. And we went to churches, and as we said, how the politics stops Christianity, and people asked, Who are they? Sabon Utai, Lenem Tekesi, Kogile, Kolutai, Savan Danavagan Kulunkulusia, Kolu. Hey, 
I I in down And then this name tag of being a believer and saying, Well, we are here to bring you the gospel and the people oh wonderful, that is all good and well. And then you say you're from Kwasizabantu, they say, Oh, Kwasizabantu. Services come by organization, maybe so which you see, sir. Who sips out on my new lay, or should we consent the young people of South Africa? This is Ulbatum Paracho Katazigi. And then we started an organization, abbreviated SIPSA, Concerned Young People of South Africa, and in Zulu it's Umparacho Katazigi. Our Saba actually is prepared and is sling, you see, is Umparacho Katazigi. Our Lutu Wonkum to no more um Lutel and no more um whistle, no more Sizaban, no more faith, no more yin. Sneaking if I now ching on his age, Ziapoop. And when we had this organization, SIPSA, that we could go under, whether you were Lutheran, whether you were, of course, a Bantu, whether you were a Baptist, whatever denomination where you were, we all had a common goal going forward. Uming and Tintin Ziniam, young Tinta Gumzala, young Tinta Ganjalo Ganjalo, Sakala Sasanga Naga Manjanga Sinja, Sasina Lili Scrapeza. Umparacho Catazigile, I was a bantu, I am Zalwane, I am Sindiso, Gotum Catazigil. And then this matter that we brought through the concerned young people of South Africa, it touched your children, it touched a cousin, it touched a family member. Now suddenly we were all under the same banner. You were not necessarily under, under a denomination or saying that you are a believer or were saved. Unkulunkulu, Wakala, Owens, Umsebenzi. And the Lord started doing a work among, uh, amongst the children of people. And then the Lord We do not have a rehab here at the mission, but we have a time and a place that you can rest, that you can be refreshed, that your mind can think clearly and you understand what God has called you for and what you need to do with your life. And then we so much I simele ubu Christu. U Christu aga buisele nda weniaki. No makse skoleni, no makse parliament. Aga siyege ningu ya zani, ngi atanda ze kamerin, ngi atanda ze njiniyame sonto. Kwa da gese pumele nobala, siyo mchelu hulmeni, ugu titina ma Christu, sifunu kupatu aga nje, aiga nje. And I challenge each, each one here, whether it be a minister or a bishop, let us leave here with a date, a mandate where we will go, we will march to government, where we tell them, this is how we want it. We are Christians, and this is what we want. And And if our children, if in school they want to teach them about sex, that is not what we want. We say, government, this is our children. This is the way we want to. We are Christians. This is what we are calling for. We must live a look for God today. Now my panty law. Now let's get to look at and propose a labis back to life. Lea hambas pegi ile. Siti siya kolo. Siti zoma pambi gankulu nkulu smuzwe. Sen zan. Ha inkos gang tanda zen zini ami. Koto ala afizwe si kon. Age siye ni politiki ama sonto. La u kon. Yenzu me shugo. Funa shuga ne la. Si ne teit si zo gwenzani. Nini. La u kona. Langi kona. Galo lusu. Baya nyaga zale siya konke. Ama Christu at enough is enough. Where we are concerned about the shoes that we wear, the clothing that we wear, there's no time for that. We need to stand up as Christians. We need to 
leave here having a date where we know this is the action we will do, this is what we need to say, so that we can all stand together and do this for the Lord. Kulelo noti, bengsusha ilenda bale. On that note, this matter has troubled me. Gizotkele nti zwa ezfige la ziklagegile, zishaisegile, ziskreshegile, zatima ezfige gule workshop kan kulunkul, asi zwanga umuntu, ngoba zatima ezfige kwa chua ako kambila, uti eso wa siza, unamandu kuban siza, umantata inuzo nsiza, Angfunigege, ukba kulmele, abasi wona madhuzi. Baya wazguz kulmele, bazo zabakule, beso yetu awabo, uzo be eses, kubele laga fishani ufagaz baki. And I will ask some young men to come, who have come here, they were scratched, they were, were nothing, they, they did not know what to do with their lives, but they came to this workshop, and they were willing to be worked at by God, and their lives were changed. They will come, they will sing for us, and then one of them will share. I will also let them talk for themselves. Now we can already start looking at dates in our diaries so that when I leave here, we've got a date. You know what those who don't have money or don't have something, they go and they close the main road until they see the minister. What are we doing as Christians? Isi akwala 
Ngena 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 umenyiwe Ngena 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 inda wisekona O myango nangu O sufule gile She Shesungene, shesungene, sebe upegile. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, inda wisekona. Lom kosongaga. Utajelwe wena. Oh, wapunguga, wapunguga, usubu ya njena. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, ngena. Ngena, ngena, inda wisekona. Na mpaba sezu. Luini bagu kweba Ba singa yebo Singa yebo na mpoba ya keba Ngena, ngena, ngena Ngena, ngena, ngena Ngena, ngena, ngena Ngena, ngena, inda wisekona O satelayo Maye uzokala O sivulele Sivulele inko si iagwala Maye, maye, maye Maye, maye, maye Maye, maye, maye Maye, maye inda wa iseko Maye, maye, inda wa iseko. I greet you all tonight that's here to be with us. I'm one of the young men that's a part of the SIPSA organization. My name is Rafik, and I was uh, born in Durban, uh, south of Durban, in a little uh, community from Chaswet. And... Uh, I've got a lot to be thankful for um, because the Lord has done a great work in my life and taken me out of a very dark place so that I could stand here tonight. Uh, I, I was born into a Muslim family and that's the religion I grew up uh, practicing and did all the ritualistic uh, uh, practices uh, from a young age. And I used to go to school, and after school, I used to go to another type of Muslim school to learn from their book, which is the Quran, and I used to memorize it and recite it. And that is my uh, childhood. And as I grew up to become a, a teenager, I started to be rebellious. I started to be rebellious. 
I experimented with cigarettes and uh, drugs and alcohol, but um, I didn't feel right uh, continuing with it, so I stopped it while I was in high school and uh, continued with my school. Kubera as well, which I and And all this time, uh, I had this form of uh, following this Islam religion which I grew up in. And uh, after I finished school, I wanted to take a gap year and decide what I wanted to do with my life. And that's when I went back into drugs, into alcohol, and I ended up on hunger. At first, I thought I could uh, control it. I had it all under control. And I could stop it when I'd like to, but not knowing that I was bounded and I, uh, I was in the chains of the devil at that time. And through all those years, my childhood, uh, growing up as a teenager, young adult, I was just packing burdens onto myself, and it came to a point in my life later on where it became too much for me. And through all this, with the religion that I was in, I never knew that there was uh, the cross, there was Jesus Christ, whom I could come to. I never knew about uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. I just carried on uh, packing burdens onto my shoulder. And when I was on hunger, my addiction was about nine years and um, I couldn't uh, keep a job. I started stealing from my family, and I became a big problem in my family and in my community. Getting beaten up black and blue became such a regular thing for me that it was actually uh, pretty normal. I was not even 20 and I ended up in Westville prison and I thought because I went to prison now it's my first time there I'll come outside and I'll uh, continue a good life but be being in prison just made me a much more hardened person I was in prison at 20 and I was in Westville I ended up there further three more times, and my family tried to put me into a rehab facility, and I stayed there for one entire year. It was a Muslim rehab, and the very first day that I came out of there, I went and relapsed and smoked drugs. And I thought, let me run away, let me run away as far as the Northwest province, and uh, maybe my life will change. No, it wasn't even two weeks, and I was back because this thing which I was carrying through all my life, I, it was still with me. And at one stage, the community caught me and beat me up. They broke my knee, 
and uh, I had to be hospitalized, so I couldn't walk for a few months. Gelini langa umpaga chuang bamba in chonchi le bang sha bang ngamuli tholo gaba se spese langa guzukamba i nyanga ne zimba. Bounded by the chains of drug addiction, even with that broken knee, I dragged myself to go and get drugs. Gopo shama ketanga is dagamizwa. Ko nanginga guzukamba nginga muge i tholo. Living on the streets became so normal to me that uh, uh, I used to uh, think that it was normal sleeping under the bridge, on cardboards, uh, on park benches, uh, digging into bins for food. And at some stage, I started going crazy in my mind. At that point, I think I've given up on myself in life, and everyone around me, my family, my community members, uh, uh, were just waiting for that day when I die and uh, I'll be no more on this earth, because I was nothing, I was finished. And part and parcel of all this, I tried uh, to go back to the way I grew up, to these uh, religious places that I'd visited, the mosque and all these uh, Muslim uh, preachers, and get help, but nothing helped me. Uh, I still had the same problem, I still continued in the same cycle, and I was still uh, this, I, I thought it was like I was not even a human being anymore. Kukona lulu habo ngiboshiwe kula maketa ngezi taramizwa. Nenzama ngilongi ya gula matempeli ebe ngi ya guo ima mosque. Angilitola ngusizo. Kona impili iya njalo iba inutaka alo unugube ibe ngo. It was in 2015 I've heard of this place, Kwaziza Bantu, uh, from others who had visited. Uh, and I was 27 years old, and I only had the clothes on my back, uh, which was a pair of pajama pants, a broken slops, and an old dirty T-shirt. And that's how I found myself at the gate of Kwaziza Bantu. I thought this place was a rehab and I'll spend my time here and I'll go out just a quick fix uh, like I've always done. Lapo mfia nga nga bangu chiri hepu ngita hai nzoti njuguti nga nga nukulungi sanje logo nga chagulungi ile cheche futi nkulule. But the moment I set foot into the premises of Kwaziza Bantu, I felt that this place is different. There's something different uh, about being in this place. I've never experienced that in my life. And I, I, I sensed that and felt that, and I also saw that in all those who have met and those that assisted me uh, when I came in. It was such a big thing to be treated as a human again because I was in a point of my life where uh, I was just ready to fall down or get knocked by a truck and die. And when I came into uh, the mission, I signed in to be a part of the organization that helps young people, SIPSA, and uh, attended the, the, the services that's held for young men uh, during the day. And I could also get an opportunity to sit down with one of the older people of the mission and to share my life story and uh, to get prayer. And I 
emvakalo ngabe sekunikezwa nethu bala uthi ngikwazi ukuhlala nomntwana ka nkulunkulu khona la kwasisa abantu ngiveze umthwalo wami ukuthi nakhe ngikuthwele enhliziyweni and that's when the lord started working in my life and in my heart and uh, scales started falling off from my eyes and i could realize and see that this is the place where i am this is a true place that one can find help through the lord jesus christ that i felt that i was getting rid of this burdens for the first time in my life sengifikileke ke sengilithole lolo thuba ngabe sengizwela umthwalo uwo uphunguke emahlombe ami ngase ngiqonda futhi impela kuyindawo la umuntu ekwazi ukuba sizakale khona ngomusa kaNkulunku and the lord took me back through all the years to bring out all the evil all the wrong things in my life and the devil was not happy about it and the battle was on nkulunkulu wangithathwa ngibuyisele muve ebunganeni bami indlele ngikhule ngayi izizono amaphuthe ngiwenzile kwakungelula ngoba usathane naye ube ngakuthandi loke be ngikudalula but by god's grace with the help and the support of the co-workers of the mission who supported me and really prayed for me and was there for me through all the battles of the devil and the evil one who didn't want to lose me from his kingdom uh, i could persevere and i chose the lord for my heart and i chose him to be my savior uthi ke wabe ese thathi thu balo balungisa impilo yakhe wazinikela kuNkulunkulu mamukele uJesu nje ka nomsindisi wempilo yakhe whether it was during the day or whether it was during the night i received the help and support that i needed and i'm very thankful for that noma bekusebusuku noma kusemini noma kunini ibe ngilithola lolu sizo ebe ngilidinga ngalo ndlela ngiyabonga and the lord opened up an opportunity that i could stay a bit longer on the mission and assist in the carpentry department i could learn a skill with my hands and i was around people who had been serving the lord for many years and they helped me to grow stronger in the lord as well unkulunkulu angenzela umusi ukuthi ngathola ukwandiseleka iintsuku zokuhlala la kwasezabantu ngabe sengikezwa nethu balokuba ngingakwazi ukuba ngiyosebenza la kwenziwa khona sebenziwa amaplangwe kathola ke uqeqesho khona ngisebenza nabantu asesikhathi bemkhonzo uNkulunkulu bengilekelela nabo ukuba ngikhule ekumazini uNkulunkulu and after assisting for about four years in 2019 the lord started actually 2018 speaking to me and uh, affirming that uh, my calling is to be a, become a missionary teacher and uh, i started to study there after through the college year at the mission kusho ukuthi ke ngiyilapho ke emaplangweni la kusetshenzwa khona ngamaplangwe imiyaka emine kuNkulunkulu wasesiqinisekisa ubizo lwami ukuthi kahle kahle mina ubizo lwami lusekubeni ngibe sekutheni ngibe uthisha ongummissionary ngabe ke ngo 2018 sengijoina ke ikholeji yala kwasezabantu ngifundela khona ukuthishela and and about that time i could also go back to my community to the police chief and i could apologize and ask for forgiveness for the wrong things before embarking on this which the lord had called me for uthi ke ngaphambi ngokuba ke ayaqale kayo bekunyawo lakhe kulokho uNkulunkulu ezwa ukuthi umbizele kukho wathatha ithuba lokuba buyele muve emphakathini wakubo ayobuyisana nabo ngezinto akazenzile bezingekho zinhle ngisho naku chief wa police station yangakubo eyocela ukuba bamthethelele ngakho konke okuba kakwenzile and after four years of studying to become a teacher for high school for maths and science i completed my degree last year emva kweminyaka emine ke hlele diskin bemlolonga ukuthi abe uthisho ufundise high school ufundisa ibalo nesayensi ngonyaka odluleke uye wathola idegree yakhe eyiphasa ngo cum laude and it's a miracle because through all that drug abuse my mind was I, i started to speak to myself sometimes while on the street and people thought i was going crazy i thought i was going crazy 
And about from the time I finished school till the time I entered into college, it was about 15 years since I went back to college or university. And I could finish my degree with cum laude. And at the moment, I'm teaching um, at the best school in the world, which is right here on the mission at Domino Civite School. Utige Enva Gubekwete Skolini was lit Dagamizwa, Guapelimiagi of fifteen Uguze Abuele, Aye Etiskin, Eseo Funde Lage Uptiche, Wafundagle Miage Mine, Wai Passang of Cum Laut, Manjege Usea Fundisa Eskolini, Eshamba Pambil, Em Saben Wong Echigele, Itomino Sevite School, Ela was his aban. So, sorry, on that note, Kukwele Ngabes and Kelly's car. I would like to thank uh, everyone who has come to be with us and also uh, for this opportunity. I feel, as Baba has said, he's small. I feel much smaller than Baba to be uh, speaking in front of such uh, ministers and bishops. And uh, I thank you so much for the opportunity that was given to me. Sibona bangana bakulile abaningi babo bayasebenza abaningi babo sebese makaya babuyela emakaya asemakubo baqhubeka nempilo We only saw a few of them singing here but there are so many that work that have work here that have also gone back home and they have gone back to their communities and to their families and are living a life for the Lord Gendota Eotwa Yapume Mzinwa Gubo Yashia Abagwabu Ashia Ifa Yatinkos Wena Umung Bizan Zuglande Baza Lega O Baba is Balandelayo Baza Lega Baza Lega Sasa Figa Nat Joanam Ginin Kan in Jiranjin in Kani Leoguti Gifunaman Gifa Kinga bi ne kala logo chang shongo ni bazalwa nuguti lasi kon iba ila ase elvuta yo elenga shiinti zizi kote elenga bamba ingobal kuelumli loga kulunkulu oshi suko chule izlegesga sacha. Because of one man who left his home and answered the call which the Lord had given him, and because of that. There are so many that were born from that. And then we have this fire, this coal that is on fire, and God has done such a great work. Abasem Tuba, Abase Koli, Abase Chewin, Emma Respect, Ekranskop, Epitoli, Epi, Kupi Gupi, Keptawin, Zonkin, and Napesha, Quiluan, Noma Gupi, Samba Nate, Jobasila, Galolusu, Footing your wins, Princess, so which he loan a low mountain dawin, Yafi and Zombon, Wianyagaza, Nomut, Hambanisian born. I had asked for a date. So all those different places that were mentioned, we need to come up with a date. And if you don't give me a date, I'll give you a date. And I also want to come to all your different places to see whether you are on fire or whether you just said, okay, we'll see you later. Banigazu Sinqua, Urafik in Jenoba, a Ketuk Funda, a Kokangishi sent. A Liko Futi sent Arabizuelo, and which get Jobsuke Tile Fundisagela school in Tar. Uguens and Gobuya Tan to Tafundis and a school. Unigazu Sinqua so with your hamba, my tand, I will sleep Lila Bagubo, my own my life, Zeleetua, Godagutua Nas Sinqua, Hambu Peel.
anyone who comes, can be helped freely, and they, they get the gospel. And if we think of Rafik, for example, he didn't pay for any of his studies, but he's teaching at the school. He's not teaching at the school because we said, we paid for your studies, now you must do that. He did it out of his own free will. So we can take whatever denomination, what church you come from, and why have you left your church. We are just there to be able to give them food, to give them a piece of bread, so that they can see the light and see the Lord. Adam, can you stand up? You see that man? Nyambona. I will This is a man who also came to Kwasizaban too and was helped. And in such a way, if I find myself that I need a lawyer, he is a lawyer and he can help. So the Lord has done an amazing work in his life. Having confirm <laughs> Cool, a beautiful lady and a half. So the Lord helped Adam in his life and the Lord blessed him. Blessed him with a pure virgin as his wife. And he was not given and said, This is what it must be. The Lord showed it to him and he asked and she, she accepted and they got married. And these days the Lord has blessed them with a beautiful lady and a half. Mkweli date. Unginegezi date. Yeah. 27 May. Nancy is paramis. So 27 May. But in Aban. Suggestion 27th of May. What do the people say? Bab Mangai. 27 May. 27 May. It's a Saturday. Yeah, Baba. Ubaba Uti Aga Pixan in twenty seven Game Kotua Umufunuenza into Ezoba ne impet Ezo Shia Umbe Unga in the Kunge copies Finally and the Pitis La Magtu and Julapa Kue Street BM Sebenzin Beale Udlut Naminga Masha Lau Valu Lumka Kosiale Asili Utige Arashu Tangin, Ziwa, Mumkubel, what Tum Kubelo Manje, Nomagupis, Gotua 
attention was shown. I told Gatalaban Labafuna, over Labanto Bafuna, as a little go much, Vig, Lali Kays, and a pirate. Nan, nan, nan. What Baba says, he says, let is not opposing that date, but if you look at a public holiday, people are sitting at home watching TV. If you have it, maybe and during the week where it is busier, and if you really are in the city when it's really busy, and you stop that busy street and you say, this is the point that we have, it will be more effective. <laughs> Eighteen May, Usugulga menu. The eighteenth of May is Ascension Day. Ungo listen, guy. We are going to listen. Oh, on it, oh, menu, on it, I'll sell on it. Go. Anza? Sera ki shoku bai holit. Asil bu isen ni gape. Iti nint. Hele itu. Ascension Day is not a public holiday anymore. Let us make it a public holiday. What does everyone say? Sia vumelan. Kushukuti gege, au yugo wenza umenyugo esundwe inlaku. Si apume linza masond, unga afaga ma pencil, namu benga fagil chai, si fagi tegu si mkakuin, si okumbuza wanun usugula menyugo balleke ngani, namba chunge na nama Christine si funa ezun lagiti. Now on, on the 18th of May, Ascension Day, we will not be in church, we will be out in the street. Not wearing our ties, but wearing tackies because we are going to march. Firstly, we want Ascension Day back. And secondly, what do we as Christians stand for? Si avumela nage kese spali lefut naguma ma ma tayaruit. And then bengzo kela guti gapam guti masi gapam guti pumin konzo si faga ma details wagasi zabantu. If you have something that you can display. And before the end of the service, if please, if we could put on the screens that we just have the details of what is about to mission, there, will, there has been a request. Amazulu. Na ma peti na 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 we nzoku fana na ati sobe sinya gazi si kunge nje la yetu kucho we chuzo ganje na wanga gino uzo mamba mbega nje umba mbumso nje zabe si tuze at maeba mbega nje kresha umba mbiga. We won't all have the same uniform wherever we are in the different areas. We will do it the way in which we do it as our tribe, our nation knows how to do it. And so that's how we will do it in different places. I trust that you have all the necessary details to be able to make contact. Now the set, the DVDs, they are finished, so you will just receive it in an envelope. And then 
en reception. And then you can, it will just be slipped into the envelope. And Reverend Stegen's sermons, mm. you can get at reception, but they will only be in English. So to go hand to hand, to la gale futinang is in English, but to go to no shama emelienu, no makelienu, no mangingers in Gucci, Ningatola Naganja. And then, if it is in the language that you want and you're unable to get it, you can leave your details, your email addresses, and then you can make arrangements how you will get them. Now, the uh, program is coming to, has come to an end. It's, we have tried to make it quick. Maybe you say, I have also been saved from drugs. I have been living with my Lord from 13 years old. I don't know what it is to smoke or to drink. The Lord saved me, and I met with the gospel in 1963. I don't know what it is like to hold a cigarette, to drink alcohol, or to smoke hunger. I was amazed only to see a few coming. Usually, it's quite a big choir here, but many are working. Uh, but this organization started with great difficulty. They were fetched from difficult places. Some that were living in cemeteries. Some were even called and taken just before they were about to enter into a brothel, into a place where they have escort agencies. But that was where we went and fetched them. Imagine what a difficult place to go and find people in a cemetery. But because God had called them to it, they went and would go and fetch them in those places. And in, our brother Ntogos and Tlavati was even given a name. I think the name he does not know. Was Hoko Abalete Kanye. Where he, he didn't care about death. He would go and fetch the people out of hell and bring them back into life. Where he had no time, or he, he, he just shunned death, where he would go and find those people that were almost dead in hell at whatever time of the day or night, he would go and give up everything to go and fetch them. As he also said that he has a, a stubbornness. But his stubbornness is to preach the gospel, preach the gospel as it is. It's not stubborn and not being obedient or not listening. He is stubborn when the Lord has given him a task to do, a direction to go. He will do it with all his heart. We should 
Sumalifangelgo to Nenkani, Smashu Chinenkani, Impeluchilapo, meaning Biza Corner Lanit, and Giacon and Giacona, Ushisa Gunjan in Giacon. Just to, if anyone was confused, how can a, a minister be stubborn? But he is stubborn in pursuing and doing that which is right, and there where he has been sent. We didn't know that he would get converted. When he, when he came here to Kwasizabantu, usually during the youth conference, Reverend Stegen called us to his home. There were just a few of us co workers. Where the children are coming to report to Reverend Stegen about the children, the boys. And they said, This boy, Dogoz and Tabati, has poured us with water. And pouring water on the children as if. They're coming out of fire. And then we observed how will Reverend Stegen make a judgment on this case? Will he say, pack your bags and go home? And then we waited expectantly. What will he decide? And he said, you know what, my children, I also didn't know that he was pouring you with water. And just like that, we all parted. And that's how we parted and went away. And I saw this man as a leader. And that is why when we left Mapumulo and came here in 1970, we saw that God is with this man. Now, we call Mr. Dietmar Justin. Malume, that is the name that we have given him. Oh, didn't they trouble us? Mm. They're at their home. As we came to come to the service at their home, they would trouble us. Today, he preaches the gospel. The same with Dorozo, who also preaches the gospel. And when we came and reported that the children of the mission, they're troubling us like this and like that. And he would just go, oh, yeah. And that is where the matter would come to an end. Expecting that this parent and that parent will be called, the matter will be sorted. And all he said was, oh yeah. And then that is how we saw how the gospel went forth and even worked in the children's lives. As they stand here and sing and testify, you must see them when they are craving for those drugs. You think you know someone and suddenly there is vomiting before you. We are more than a car, we are color, life spin, we are luma, we are luma. As a best is a guy, a bum chair town for two baggage, a lunch, insulin, and tattoo, lower shell, pale, little, low, little, 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 little,
agony that they are in. And those who have already been saved, encouraging them, hang in there, only three more days. And you just see that Babalas in them. It is not easy if someone is withdrawing from hunger. Mm. It's as if they can just grab a smoke and then it will be over. But by the Lord's grace, we pray for them and that they are helped. We should go to Jenga Manjege, Sister Tetela, Equire, Yagosizabantu, is too late. Now we all ask the Gosizabantu choir to come forward and to sing for us. We're going to sing two songs. The Zulu song will be uh, Jonah ran away when God sent him to Nineveh. He went to Tarshish. When God sends you, where do you go? Do you go where God has sent you?
No man's Jabulera Kulu, sing our Shaya Makwela, sing Kunswin. Jesus, if we can, even though we are overjoyed, may we not whistle. It's a good Christian. We are not in a stadium. Say Kumbuzela Konjibutai, sing Kunswin. Let us remind ourselves we are in a church. This boy, a Kulu, which is the very school lily choir, Yala was a banter mission. Thank you very much to the Sizabantu Choir from here at the mission that sang for us. They sang well, thank you very much. I don't know, maybe that they sang so beautifully is because my wife also sings. She's got a beautiful voice. Let's not forget that the day where they don't sing well, then she's probably not there. <laughs> so I think you saw her. She's the most beautiful of them all. Mm. 
That is a it's good to be light-hearted and to make jokes because the doctors tell us that if you can't laugh, your heart cannot be cured. When you laugh, your heart gets well. And if you are, don't know what it is to laugh, then you must pray and ask the Lord to help you. We will now give an opportunity to Reverend Stegen and we will hear his sermon. Stand as a gang foot. Shall we pray once again? Lord, may you gather our thoughts that we hear you speaking to us. Lord, we need to hear that which you have for us this evening. The word and the service that we will hear, that it will be food that we can take along. And Lord, everything that we have heard, may it be so that we will be revived within our spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
kona kona. Kuya kuti lobo eza kusho mai kuwe kuti lo kusakaka nawe yena ape nawe. Na lo eza kusho mai kuwe kuti lo akayo hakuha banana yena akayo hakuha. So Gideon took the men down to the water. There the Lord told them, separate those who left the water with their turns like a dog from those who kneel down to drink. Why the she said about the Nasiman Zin? Would you have a water cookie to me? Okay, about Tapa a man's booty in your arm. Jim Tapa Venture. The baby water. Can't you have a water? Three hundred men leapt with their hands to their mouths. All the rest got down on their knees to drink. Umumu wabatapayo, bebega isanja ilo nini, wama matota, anamakulo matatu. Kepa boke abani abandu, babuka mamatoro uguba, babuse amansi. The Lord said to Gideon, With the three hundred men that left, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all the other men go, each to his own place. So Gideon sent the rest of the Israelites to their tents, but kept the three hundred who took over the provisions and trumpets of the others. Why sit you to hover on the tree? Can I have a dog of a cool or a matat? A trap high up, and is a bunsy disease. Give a little lap of a bit yard, a certain sun. Bonke abanya band, Baba Hardy. You know what I know? I ain't a winyak. A bantu was a bit at him pago, get such a sap and a matil of abo. Bonke abanya of Israel. Wabatuma, kwaba ilawu na lawu tene nilake. Wajina na wato na makuna matatu. Now we could just read the following verses. I thought we won't read them, it's so long. But maybe you'll bear with us if we do so. Now the camp of Midian lay below him in the bay. During that night the Lord said to Gideon, Get up, go down against the camp. Because I am going to give it into your hands. If you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant, Pura, and listen to what they are saying. Afterward, you will be encouraged to attack the camp. So he and Pura and servant went down to the outposts of the camp. The Midianites, the Amalekites, and all the other eastern peoples had settled in the bay, thick as locusts. Their camels could no more be counted than the sand on the seashore. Suzo Futa, Amanyama Vesi Futila, Beniti, Dele Suwa Funde, Goba Mante Kakulu, Kota, Agenzi Bele Zayele, Suwa Funde. Ikamu, Lakwa Mitiani, Lani Panzi Kwa Ake, Eskoti, Kwa Ti Ngarobo Musu, Ucho Hoko Wate Kuruye, Fuga weshele ekamu, kukuba senini seni jimigele esanji nisama. Kepa uma wesaba kweshe, yeke na ukura kutibi wako, niene kareka ekamu. Uzakuzwa kukuti, bati, andu kukuba kukiniswe nizata zaka. Kukuba weshele ekamu, kona wesha na ukura kutibi wake, Ema pete kwenye abasumileyo abasekamu. Aba kwa miti yaani na maama leki bobo mke na bobo mke abasekuma naka. Basale eskotini, jene skonyani, kogu mingi. Ama kamela ago, aina lampada. Ama hindi sikabati, esi sokwi ni lono sudono ajwe, kogu mingi. Now we just carry on at the 15th verse. When Gideon heard the dream and its interpretation, he worshipped God. He returned to the camp of Israel and called out, Get up! The Lord has given the Midianite camp into your hands. 
dividing the 300 men into three companies. He placed trumpets and empty towers in the hands of all of them with torches inside. Watch me, he told them. Follow my lead. When I get to the end of the camp, do exactly as I do. What a guru, Gibugay, Nathan Ganjan, Began, and if you get my petal in the car, where would he, Jenna Loco, Gwenzamina, Nathan? When I am all who are with me, blow our trumpets. Then from all around the camp, blow yours and shout for the Lord and for Gideon. Ah, Gibeta Itrilog, Mina Nabomoke Abanami, Betani Nani Abatilogo, Azok Zeka, Niti, Eka Jehova, Neka Kitio. So far. Sisotinala. I wish that God will give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Because in these days we talk a lot about things we've got no idea about. We talk about spiritual things and ways of God. God doesn't hide it from us that his thoughts are ours. And our worries aren't here. One day many people will say, Lord, Lord, we did this and then you shake his head. He says, I don't know you. I don't know the difference between the two. We are stunned by what we find. We are shocked. 
face and what is it told them? They were brought face to face with their enemies. But sometimes it's about the man and his intazago, who was a robot. All the enemies joined forces. Is it as a result of the Sana? It wasn't just the Midianite nation. They may see Sonny Caesar Sagamitian declare. But all the Amalekites. Got to be Shmama Mamade. And all the Eastern nations. This is a song of Zabasem Kulmarak. Opposing Israel. But they are not about Israel. So Israel was up against the whole world. Just as the Christian today is against the whole world. Because the Lord Jesus helps the Christian go into all the world. And not only preach the gospel to all or broadcast by radio and then say, well, you've done what you should do. I put you Shumaya Bukhe and Oma Usada as a Usada as a Sebuti, same face in the Yokumkumu Ladakshin. He says, Get hold of all these East nations and all the nations and make them disciples. Uti, yet a bonke, Babe, Abalandi, Maga Jesu, Bonka was a Kumara, and as a zonk is his. And how shall they do that? In baptizing them into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As a way to the child, O Papa, but he said that, Hey, come in, you got a little daughter, you didn't have a boy. We don't do that by baptizing people into water. As a way to the Lord, O Papa, but he said that, Hey, man, see, you know, my hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What a way to the Lord, O Papa, but he said that, Hey, man, see, you know, my hands. That may well be symbolic of what Jesus has said and meant it to be. But you know that in the original text it doesn't say baptize them in the name. It says baptize them into the name. And the name signifies the character, the very nature of the one to whom the name belongs. Ikama, vimela, lomuntu, oku ikama nake, ishu nesimo sake soki. In other words, we should grab hold of the nations and baptize them into the very character and nature of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There's no work on earth of such a high standard and such good quality as that. That's the highest degree. That's the only true wisdom. The other is just worldly wisdom and religious. So, the Lord puts the whole world before us. And He says, that's your mission field. And that's the work you've got to do. But in answer to my argument, I'm going to go back to the next. And that's a just as a great a challenge as the challenge Gideon and the Israelites were faced with. The Lord will win. 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 All these nations were as many as locusts and their camels as the same that the seashore nobody could travel. So can I see this way? But the farm and James Conyan of Niki, Nama Kamela Abo, I'm in a bar. Now, what would we do and what do we do today? Tina Sansa began a church. The natural thing is. We want recruits. We try and get as many people we can 
Ele é 
over by sharing with my Gilead. Gilead means strong. Gilead, who tells you what he could give me, who not mind. And rocky, says, a, a rocky mountain, a strong mountain. Who not mind to have a quick have a quick me. He said, I don't want anybody who is here on the strong mountain. Who can fully move to who not far to go let have a quick. Anybody who fears is unfit in the Lord's house. No, He shouldn't be there. He should be at home with his wife and sleep with her in the one place. A fanel would have a corner of a pinning of Kurukuru, who told her a sekai, a man in the Kuskasi, embed in a water. Let him embrace his wife and his children. And have the family prayers and thank God that they can be happily reunited. And they can be happily reunited. And they can be happily reunited. And they can be happily reunited. God can't use a person who's got fear. And they can be happily reunited. And they can be happily reunited. Just a little company against all the world united. Tambe ute te aikati kufane na wapega na mabantwa na nje wapega na nesu yonki. We tremble if only one group goes against us. Tina ge siya kakaze ya umo kome nje i group e nordu ali pege na nati e melana na nje. Maybe we just hear a person saying something against us oh and then we feel. Season J, what in our Babato, a Kuruba Obu Bimati, this is a Shalufa. Just one nation says something against us. Some is in the sort of J, a Simeganat. How much if people have joined forces? Kankabana, Umabatu, a Shaman. You say that it's only natural that a person will say, well, if the enemy attacks from all sides, there's no future for us. If such forces are against us, well then we must tremble because of faith. Oh my mother, for God alone, the anger of the enemy not in. I will find out this case. Then people may suffer of depression and sleepless nights. Come in, say we are about to be crushed. And worry. They can be raped upon the faces. A person can say, well, one can understand that the person is up against such powers, a lot of strength. God says, Egypt, get rid of those as quick as possible. What do you call it? Get your own. I don't know. Well, then they can go home. I tell you what you mean, my God. Because they not fit to go into the army. They just need to learn. Go back. I'm a family. I'm a colleague. That's a bad thing. Just have a glimpse at your own life. Look, see, it's a man to kill you. Is the fear in your own life? Who call a lady who is serving for you? Are you pressed down because of things? Who could be selected in the lady in my seat? And who worry? For to cut a selected. Well, a person like that is no good. We don't change a look. I bear the assets and a look. And God knows why he sends him on. I'll remind you the other day when somebody told me about Luther. When uh, he was the traitor. were some days that were very dark. And then his wife came. All dressed in black. And uh, when he looked up, he was amazed and he said, Man, who's I? And uh, she said, Oh, I'm not a good man. And uh, she said, I'm not a good man. And she said, I'm not a good man. And she said, I'm not a good man. And she 
because news spread very fast. And she says, God has died. And then he caught on. Why is it because we are not going to show? So I said to our visitors, now I know what to do when I get the people those kind of people here. Yeah. After to get a black suit as well and a black tie and a black shirt. And I to get a suit as well and a black tie and a black shirt. Then I can uh, maybe be a help to those people. Maybe God knew that there were such wives at home, that's why he said the husband's home. It would have been very nice. But I don't know what to do. 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 It would have been wonderful if the men would have gone home and those women would have gone on strike and said, we won't sleep with you. If you don't go, we go. But I don't know what to do. 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 What impression do you get of all those women when the men came back that embraced their husband with the holy kiss and went down on their knees and said, let's thank the Lord that he's been so good to us that he sent you back home. The person who has got no eyes would say that must have been a great revival. And they would have spoken of the wonderful prayer meetings they had had in their homes. But everybody who is not spiritually blind says, how could any one of them turn back? What do we do? We now have to go and say, we're going 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 to go and say, those people, they missed their reward. They have a bad one, and they have a bad one, and they have a bad one, and the greatest experience that could have ever been theirs. Well, we've got to stop there, otherwise we won't get further. And 22,000 men turned back. Spiritually, very often, the majority is wrong. We always find it in the Bible. The prophets and the men of God were always in the minority. And the Lord Himself said the broad way that's where many people go. And uh, the narrow path, only a few. And 22,000 men turned back. About 22,000 22, people had fear in their hearts. About 22,000. If there's somebody who was fear you tonight, it would be good if today would be your day where you could be saved from your fear. Otherwise, you're no good and you're unfit to enter the Lord's army and be a soldier of the cross. You just be a soldier of your fear. Uzo ba is social je, no farurak. No matter with what difficulty or opposition you are facing. Akshono to go to begene, ne zita ezikagana. The whole world is against you. No me is a long trip begene 
If God wants to do it, let him do it. Right through the Bible, we find that it. it's God's battle and it's Gideon's battle. The Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Let's not let fear and tremble that made these people go home. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Why? Because it is God who works both to will and to do. You see, it is God's battle and it's Gideon's battle. And uh, Gideon went into the yoke. The Lord says we should take his yoke upon us. It's him and you. In one yoke. And he said, the first thing he said, he says, now watch me. Would you dare say such a thing? Do you invite us all to look at you? 
To watch you. The last week, the last month. Could you tell everybody who got into contact with you that watch me? Yes, they nothing of which you would be ashamed. Isn't there something you said and something you did of which you would be ashamed? Could you tell that person concerned, watch me? Follow my lead and do exactly as I have done. The Bible teaches us all over that we should be an example to others. In word, in action, and behavior. We should be an example even in purity. Sir Timothy, when you were young girls, treat them as your own sisters. What would you think of a boy who lusts after his own sisters? Well, we live in the last times that are terrible times where there are some sex maniacs in this world. Is there somebody that can last after his own sister? But today, such things happen. If my the Bible tells us that the last days will be terrible days. But you are told you must be an example to others. Timothy, when you meet up with girls, take that girl as a treat as your own sister. And if you meet up with older women, then treat that older woman as your own mother. Can a man lust after his own mother who gave birth to him? Yes, a hellish person can do that. But the word says, be an example. The word also says that you shouldn't rebuke an older man harshly, but correct that older person as your own father. And Gideon says, men, look at me. Look at me. Oh, my he was an example. Are we an example to people today? Can we say to the world, look at me? Is when you speak to somebody, when you correct somebody, can you say to others, look at me and follow my example? Here are true leaders. We don't want people who just want position. Some people follow certain rituals to get hold of position. If you want to be a leader, be a leader through the life that you live. Not only through what you say. When people fight for position. When people even kill each other and shed blood. 
Today, many people kill each other because of alcohol. Because of fighting over a girl. But the first blood that was shed on earth was shed in a service where people were fighting over position. The first blood that was shed was shed at a prayer meeting. In, in the place of worship, that's where the first blood was shed. In the way in your kuleka, ilapogeli kazo kala na kitega ko. And it hasn't stopped since. Futi, kuzwe maje akela. Even today, the blood is still flowing. Gisho na namsha je ikazi. You can kill a person with words and you can kill him with thoughts. Even if that person is still alive, but there's a corpse before God in heaven. And God says, You're the murderer of that corpse. Kitchen, say, watch me. Kitchen, what is? Gibogen mina. Follow my lead. Landelani mina. He showed the people how to do it. Wapa kumi sema tu kuti wenzwa ngancha. We criticize people. Tina si sola bant. We find fault with them. Si tola ma puta kwa But let me tell you, as sure as you find fault with those other people, most probably your hell will be devil. That of this. If you don't show them how it's done, everybody can criticize. Everybody can find fault. And some days ago I said that that is the speciality of those that are on the wrong road. If you want to see the wrong of others, then you'll judge others according to yourself. Birds are one fed and flock together. Do you say you don't flock together? Of course you do, even if you are not with them, but you're flocking to their mistakes. Maybe you're the first one to notice it. But if you're on the right track and you see people doing it the wrong way, they do do it the right way. And you want to be an example. You won't try to murder them by your words, by your actions, but you be an example. You try to get the attraction of the others and say, Watch me! And you be an example to these people. You show them how it's done. Two wrongs don't make a right. The Bible says, overcome evil with good. Gideon said, now watch me. Now 
Now, maybe if there would have been some super spirituals, then they would have said, no, Gideon, we don't look to men, we look to God. We don't do what men tell us. In actual fact, those people don't want to do what God says, they want to do what their own heart says. Paul says, you follow me. That's what Paul says, as I follow Christ. And every one of these 300 immediately did and followed Gideon. Because they knew that Gideon does what God does. They were stepping in tune with Gideon at the same time as God. And what a mighty victory it was. For the rest of all eternities, the Lord says, heaven and earth will pass away, but not an iota of the word of God. Down through all generations, Gideon is showing us how it's done. And today, Gideon is telling you and me, and he says, watch me. I wish that everyone of us would catch a glimpse of Gideon tonight. Watch him. And may God grant that you see the significance of what he does. That you will do exactly what he did. And that's the only way that we will overcome the joint forces of the enemy. And that God will be able to glorify and reveal his might and his power through us. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, please grant us an ear to hear what you have got to say. May your words not fall on deaf ears. And blunt and hardened hearts. But that we'll be receptive and alive to your speaking. That we may be found to be true soldiers of the cross. That will be worthy of fighting the great battle of faith. Amen. As we need Gregor's Catale, Um Corns and Gulungu. In heaven, we will not tire of worshipping our God. So, Locusim Cornsilly. We will be worshiping him all the time. Tiredness, drowsiness will not come to us. And in hell as well, we will just continue 
being a burning. Manjela umfundi sumanyele otukbege lenti zwenuti singa gashuga ane abefundi si betandas. Manjela said that before we part, the minister would like to pray. Obege lenti angati song kengi tukunjalo umfundi. Obeta befundi si bonke. And she had a feeling, well, I felt that would come and that we can all pray together, but Fundisi will share with us. I will thank the Lord, my <coughs> friend. Being no tell and ye kuba go baba wooty, Cecil. So look, Safia la Passiat. I had a request. Since we have come, all we have been doing is eating. O would you sing a rahambi? Guess to me, Saint Kunukulu Bessia Bong, Kulet and Kulungul. And before we part, that we praise and we thank the Lord. Ube loan a low. I bong a lingulungulung and his cat as a persona, see what says about. That each and every one would think for themselves this time that they had a question about. Amen. Can I sing? Bengala is tate to the end of this. We glorify your holy name. Kawe Lama We glorify We glorify Kawe We glorify
says we le mthanda so wethu sisonke amen brethren the lord has heard our prayer all together noma be sithanda zangelimi ezahlukene kodwa uNkulunkulu yena uzwile even if we have tried in different languages the lord has heard bazalwane now, brethren, we have been challenged as we are leaving now. Because we when Jesus said that you will eat my flesh and you will drink my blood, it was for some too much to bear and they separated, split from the Lord Jesus. And they did not understand what he meant and their unbelief or not understanding caused them to separate. And even as Reverend Stegen said at Mapumolo when we were praying for the Holy Spirit, there were many of us, and the Lord also brought down the number and separated us. And the Lord is at work. There is a separation where the Lord purifies, and there are those that go back home. And the Lord and when there are many, the people are too many, and the Lord uses that which he did with Gideon and finds a way how he can purify and make the number worthy. And as each one has prayed, may the prayer that we have prayed not be like those who were found to be on their stomachs in the way they were drinking the water. And it is my prayer every day that the Lord be with us and sustain us, that there will not be that time of purification and separation. But if that is what the Lord desires, he finds a way to purify his church. And many, we have often seen and experienced that which was in the Bible, and there are many of us that can testify. We have been equipped and challenged. May we go with these lamps that are on fire so that we all can be on fire. Now, ministers and mothers, I don't know, can you say, look at me how I live? And Peter and them came to the point where they said, silver and gold we have none, but look at us. And I don't know, as we part and as one goes their own way, will we be lying on our stomachs and drinking the water or will we be lapping it like a dog spiritually? 
Mabe Bon Guchai, CMP Nimanje Bellingisa, Loko Sepai Pelin Bafundi, Suguti, Uma Abantuana Bara Israeli, and Kachibe Pin, Batagis in release. And I was, was so thankful to see if many of you come and do as we read in the Bible. Before the army of God went into battle, there was the time where they were purifying themselves. And between you, we saw that some were there purifying their lives. And in them sanctifying them, and there's not one who has said, because you have now come to confess here that you are now a member of the Kwasisabantu Church. And as our minister Tabati shared, that those who have found and grasped that secret, that you do not go back home with those burdens. And that we realize that when we go into battle, like Joshua said, before they go into battle, may they sanctify themselves. Ministers and ladies, know that as we are going back to our churches, we are going into a battle and may we be on fire. The church looks at you every day to see whether you are on fire for the Lord or not. And as you were here today, you were in that state where you threw and sent everything across the river. And this was the time where we as Preachers were able to hear as well from our speakers how we should live. And we'll ask uh, Reverend B. Zondi to come, who also has the program we talk about the Bible and crazy that he can please come and close for us in prayer and also thank for the refreshments. And thank you very much, Fundisi, for that which you felt on your heart. We could experience the fire that the God's children had in their hearts. May the Lord bless you. And I was hiding. Uh, I was And I was just keeping it a secret when our next conference will be. Uminko sivuma inkonzo zoba mshara mash zobe zinta tu kuya mshara five twenty twenty five. Lord willing, the next conference will be from the 3rd to the 5th of March, 2025. 
2025. And for those that have left, if we can please pass on the message, Lord willing, from, and the Lord has kept us from the 3rd to the 5th of March, 2025. <laughs> we ask that Baba Zondi will close for us in prayer. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you. The last Tandas. Kulukuru etu siabonga, gezi ngegu zako, nezi ngegu wazi zako, abahambisi bezinda bazako, uguba nkosi, balalili le bavuma, uguza nkosi la puba mema, uba meme la glenda. Lord our God, we thank you for your servants who have heeded the invitation and have come and have spoken to us as we were gathered at this place. Lord, we understand that the times in which we live, economical times and what we find ourselves, it is tough times. God, and 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 God. But your servants have been on fire and were willing to come to be with us in this place. And Lord, you have spoken to us through your servants. You have made us sharp and you have equipped us for, our, for the future, Lord. It reminds us, Lord, of your servant Moses, whom you led up the mountain and you gave him the Ten Commandments. And Lord, when he returned to the children of Israel, his face was beaming in glory, so much so that his face had to be covered. And as your servants return home, Lord, may it be evident to all that indeed they were climbing that mountain and that your glory would be evident on their faces. And that you would raise those 300 men that were with Gideon, and they were of such a small number. As we part, Lord, be with your servants, we pray, and equip them and give them that which they need as they will go back to their churches, to their homes, and also procl proclaim your word and your message. And this evening, Lord, we pray that you would be with us as we go to rest. May you be with us as we sleep, and may your words Continue to ring in our ears. Ubusi senkosi na loku esoktolo ozosi pagona ukenisa imzimbaye tu kulobusu. And Lord, we thank you. May you bless that which we will partake, and that it will strengthen our bodies this evening. 
Noma xasa se sbuele move ngo si abanye bazo vuga inta chagusa bahambe si akela ngo sugutu bakrine jo bakrine lengo sbeza la na upinde ngo subegi sanja sako na se zmole ni bakrine nemkuwa koko si si abona maybe kunesko tibu na kogo ngo kota ngo subakrine na bantu na bako uba vigele kogo ngo ogubi. Lord, as your children go back home, some will wake up very early. May you keep them on the road. You kept them coming here, Lord. But will you continue with them and bless them in their journey? Our Lord, we pray all of this in your name. Amen.